The Aspen Challenge team at Skyline High School invites you to our first annual Community Resource Fair on Wednesday, March 6, from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Mayo Gym. Our goal is to empower immigrants by creating a one-stop shop community resource center that will connect them to the people, places, and resources that enable them to build successful lives and enrich our community. I'm Katie J, and your Skyline Scoop starts right now. Good morning, Raiders. Could you all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the salute to the Texas flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. At this time, you can pray, meditate, or remain respectfully silent. Teachers, please monitor this. At this time, you may begin. You may be seated. Please remember your mission statement. Unity and effort, pride and result. Good morning, Raiders. Today is... If you are 17 years and 10 months and would like to register to vote, you can meet Mr. Swag in the senior cafeteria on March 18th and March 19th. Your voice matters and every vote counts. Community Resource Fair is also on Wednesday, March 6th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Mayo Gym brought to you by the Aspen Club here at Skyline. Junior's SAT testing will begin March 6th, so study, eat breakfast, study some more, eat a snack, study some more, then take y'all bus to bed before 11 o'clock, okay? Young Life will begin this Wednesday, so if y'all want some free food or want to play some games, that is the place to be. Skyline Football Booster Club would like to invite you to the Harold Robertson Football Banquet to help celebrate the football team on March 9th at the DISD Technology Building at 5151 Samuel Boulevard from 2 to 4 p.m. Now it's time for your A segment. Infotopia welcomes you to Texas History Heroes. Stephen F. Austin is often called the father of Texas because he began the Anglo-American colonization of Texas by bringing 300 families from the United States. The capital of the state is named for him. Under Sam Houston's leadership, the Texas forces defeated Santa Ana and won independence from Mexico for Texas. He was also elected the first president of the Republic of Texas. William B. Travis was the commander of the Battle of the Alamo during a two-week siege by the Mexican Army. Over 180 men gave their lives for Texas independence on March 6, 1836. Famous for his Bowie knife, Jim Bowie was in command of a volunteer force in San Antonio when William Travis arrived with troops. He also died on March 6, 1836. Jose Antonio Navarro was a Texas statesman, politician, rancher, and merchant in what is now San Antonio. Navarro County is named for him. James Fannin commanded a regiment at Goliad and was given orders to retreat to Victoria. However, because the retreat was delayed, his regiment ended up surrendering 
and all were executed by Santa Anna. Jane Long, called the mother of Texas, had a long and active life in Texas in the 1800s. She opened a hotel in Brazoria that was used for social and political activities. Susanna Dickinson was the only adult Anglo survivor of the massacre at the Battle of the Alamo. She was interviewed by Santa Ana and given a message for San Houston. Juan Seguin was at the Alamo, but was sent out as a courier before the battle began. He was in charge of the only Tejano unit to fight at the Battle of San Jacinto. Juan Seguin accepted the Mexican surrender of San Antonio on June 4, 1836, and served as the city's military commander through the fall of 1837. Mirabeau B. Lamar was a Texas politician and soldier for the Texas Republic. He was the second president of the Republic of Texas following Sam Houston. Ben Milam was a Texas leader who inspired his fellow Texans to retake San Antonio in 1835 and ultimately win Texas independence, but he was killed when the Texas Revolution was just getting started. Lorenzo de Zavala signed the Texas Declaration of Independence from Mexico and was elected Vice President of the Ad Interim Government of the Republic of Texas. David Crockett is well known to most Texans. He and a few of his fellow Tennesseans were among the 189 defenders who sacrificed their lives at the Battle of the Alamo. For more information about Texas history, check out infotopia.info slash texas underscore history dot html. Thanks for joining us for Texas Heroes. That's all we have for today, Raiders. Be sure to catch up on all things Skyline by following us at Skyline Broadcasting. And to make sure you never miss an episode of your Skyline Scoop, you can sign up to receive more broadcasts by texting SKYN to 1810. And catch us every day at SkynetBroadcasting.org. And make sure to listen to tomorrow's hits today and every day with Skynet Radio. I'm Katie J, and you're here from with everybody at Skynet Broadcasting. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Susan.